So you know those times when you have a thousand things to do, but really all you want to do is play? Well, that's what's happening. So I'm I'm pulling you in on this uh, playing hooky from work. <laughs> and uh, I want to make some things with, with beads and buttons. So welcome to this rando episode. This is Leo with Scraptastic Patchwork. I'm not really knowing if I should call this a tutorial or not because I don't really know what I'm doing. I think this is just going to be you watching me make it and see what happens. I've made a few things. I've made bracelets with some beads. I've made a couple necklaces. I think I made some upcycled earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made upcycled earrings and and rings and things like that. But as far as using actual items that a jewelry maker would use, I have not done that. So I got myself some waxed linen, which I'm in love. I absolutely love this stuff. And then my mother-in-law has given me a, a huge collection of vintage buttons. I also have my own collection of vintage buttons and newer buttons, but I'm going to use just vintage for the most part. And so I started making things and I wasn't really sure what I was going to make, but I ended up making these purse charms. I didn't really watch any videos on this. I, I just know they exist. And so I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool. Either you could, like this one, I glued a little um, pin to it. So you could, this is removable. Or this is a, a shank button. And I was thinking that I could use I could actually attach this to some of my bags and use this as a as a functioning button and this will just hang from there. So I just kind of added both paper beads and various other beads that I had from taking projects apart and buttons. And I just started knotting them and this is what I came up with. So again, I'm not, I'd have, this is literally the first only two I've ever done. So please be kind. However, I do have this great piece of fabric. This is one of my sample home decor samples that I had planned on making a couple bags with. I just think it's super quirky. And so I pulled a whole bunch of buttons and beads to add to that particular purse when I make it. And I think it's just going to be a tote. I need to restock my store with totes. And there's enough of that fabric that I can make myself one and I can also sell one. We're going to make a purse charm for that particular tote. So what I did is I took three strands of the wax linen and I just did like 46 47 inches and I'm going to double it so that there's a loop so now I'm going to have six strings to work with and I'm going to loop this around this really cool huge button with the huge eyes so I'm going to put it in here like I did the other one And then I'm going to loop this through. So now that's attached. I just love this stuff. It just, it's forgiving, but it also sticks to itself. Okay, so that's where I'm going to start. And then I'm going to add that button permanently, probably, to that tote. I'm going to move these out of the way, bring these closer to me. And I'm going to try to keep this in camera so that you don't miss what I'm doing. These are a few shell buttons that are not vintage, but these I believe are. Anyway, I don't know if I'll use those. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'll put a few starter beads just to keep this down 
So I'm going to take this wood bead and see if I can make this work. I don't know if all of them will fit in there. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, I should have, well, let me, okay. Let me knot it first at about, so it can still function. Maybe about right there. Okay. Is that going to be? Oh, good. That works. All right. I'm going to knot it again. It all depends on the size of whatever you're putting there. If it works or not. All right. I probably could have made those knots better, but that's okay. So now I'm going to separate and start working independently. So the thing I figured with these guys, since they are huge for this kind of application, is I'm sure this is called something, but you let's see, should I do it to one? Yeah, okay. So you, and by the way, I'm going to just ramble while I'm doing this. So if in editing it skips ahead a bit, um, then you will know that I was rambling unnecessarily and I had to edit it a bit or I got interrupted. Whatever this is called, where you capture, I don't know, that's what I'm calling it, capture where you take a couple of them separately and then you knot it together and then it stays. I don't know. So that's looking kind of cool. So now I will go off of that and try and have some separate strands of fun stuff. So button knotting. This is something I've wanted to do in a long time. Just never gotten around to it. And I really want to make some really chunky necklaces and bracelets and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll happen if I ever have time. So this is kind of a cool button. All right, so I guess it depends on how it feels. Sometimes when I was working on those other ones, I didn't have to knot at the end it just stayed but this one feels a little loose so I'm gonna go ahead and knot right after that so it doesn't come loose and the other thing I kind of discovered I have this huge needle here just run that down it's a little easier to get that knot where you want it okay so I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of work simultaneously just to make sure that I am getting a balance. Yep. And now let's do another bigger one, but let's add a pop of color, maybe. Like, um... I wonder if one of these beads will work. No, that's going to, I'm going to do that farther down. <laughs> How about this one? All right, maybe because apparently I can't talk and do something I've never done before at the same time. I think what I'll do is maybe work just a tiny bit sped up for you guys with a little music on so you can just watch instead of me trying to think of ways I can talk to you without being an idiot. <laughs> okay, let's do that.
think I am done. Let me put all the other things away. Get them out of your way so you can see the other ones now. Whoops. Yeah. I am happy with that, and that was fun. I will be doing much more of this. really do hope that you received some kind of inspiration or motivation or something from watching me do this. Please subscribe and like if this is to your liking. As always, please keep being positive and keep being creative and stumble along <laughs> doing creative things and get your brain moving in other directions as I just did. Thank you guys. See you soon.